Now, before we get into this, I'm going to just lay it out. My issues with Vlad TV is not the fact that he makes money off the kosher. I mean, you know, because that's, if people get mad about that, you know, then you have to get mad at the people that support him, right? We already know. But my issue with Vlad is with this specific situation where he wants to discredit a person who was actually in the industry. He wants to discredit a person who is now proven to be right with a lot of the things she's saying. She's not right about everything, but a lot of the things she's saying. And I believe he's saying these things because he has a personal issue against her. I think she must have said that he was a fed or something. I don't know. But after this um, interview she did, he wants to come on and completely dis dismiss everything she has said. Where every day more facts is coming out about Diddy that proves Jack War right. 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 Jack War right was right right jack war was right but yet he wants to keep he wants to keep the status quo going because he makes money off that even though we have plenty of people that has been harmed by it right that's my issue with Vlad, and i think for that he's a fraud you attended a number of his infamous parties um and in 2022 you made headlines after comments uh, where you called him a sex trafficker, uh, and in response you were called mm -hmm. crazy and jealous. Uh, do you feel vindicated yes. by the events of the last few weeks? No, not at all. Um, uh, because he's just the beginning. How bad was it, do you think, what was going on? I'm going to tell you right now that me, as a woman who has been in the industry for over 30 years, um, I've been performing live since I was 13. To live through these things and hear your elders, elders in the business, people like Patti LaBelle say, just avoid him, honey. Um, and being taught to be a, just avoid him, honey. It's not good enough. Because for four years, I've been screaming, not just Diddy, but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters and the victim-making machine kept going on. Jay-Z has been notable by his silence since uh, these charges were brought against Diddy. Why do you think that is? This is the thing, I'm just waiting to see. I'm waiting for everything to come out. And like I said, so far, she has been right about a lot of things. Not everything, but a lot of things, right? So my thing is just wait and see, since she's already been right, but Guys like Vlad and other people, Umar Johnson, want to just discredit her because they want to hold on to the status quo, the way things are. That's my issue. Because that's what he does. He starts little fires everywhere, forces everyone involved to go and carry water while he sneaks away without a response that changes now, Sean. You must respond. You have no choice. Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, Robert Kelly, Sean Combs have one person in common, professionally and privately, Sean Carter. He's been the devil for 30 years. He's been covered and protected by not only Clive Davis, but Lucian Grange. He was selected to be the demon that he is to keep the culture in line so the industry could continue to rape it. The people who have been protecting him all along, who put him in position to be such a horror to the black community still find value in him. He's got everybody on tape. Is not my firsthand knowledge. It is my firsthand witness account experience. I was a sex worker. I was a dominatrix before I got my record deal. That's how I know how the dark world and the sex world and the entertainment world run hand in hand.
That's why the movie Blink Twice is so important. Salute to Zoe Kravitz. The sex workers that I have worked with throughout the years and continue to work with even to this day have worn hidden cameras. I have my own tapes. I've seen what they do. The ritualistic behaviors. It seems to have been something that people, a lot of people knew about, but people were simply too scared knows. to talk about. Every one knows. And every person that's sitting there trying to act surprised knows very well. But everyone knows what's going on, and it's been going on for years. It's been going on before Diddy. See, people keep looking at him like he's the Sputnik that came out of nowhere. This is someone who was designed to be what he is. We got to stop making Diddy's. And if we're going to do that, then we got to go back. We got to go back to even further the mentors of these people. How many victims potentially do you think there could be? Thousands. Thousands. I've talked to hundreds that I deal with still myself. Mm. I have three victims right now who are willing to give testimony about not only what Mr. Carter has done to them, but his wife as well. Now listen to what um, Black has to say about Jaguar Wright. Even though she, ha she has been proven to be right, and she was directly in the industry, right? Look at what he has to say about her. Vlad TV, DJ Vlad. Uh, DJ Vlad, I mean, it's pretty horrifying listening to these testimonies. Um, what, what did you make of what you just heard? Uh, well, Jaguar Wright is known to be a conspiracy theorist. Uh, I don't really coast on anything that she says. Uh, I've never had her on my show, and I don't have any plans to have her on my show. Um, you don't believe her? She had an album in 20 years, and a lot of this stuff is just stuff she's heard, things she's making up, and so forth. Uh, I'm not saying that there aren't serious things that Diddy may have done, but yeah, I can't coast on anything that Jaguar Wright is saying, if that's your question. When everything comes out and it's proven that Jaguar was right, then what is Black TV going to have to say? Right? When the whole music industry gets exposed, well, particularly the hip hop industry, right? Gets exposed. What is he going to say then? Right? When the whole industry is going to get shaken up, what is Black going to say then? You know, what are guys like him and Umar Johnson, what are they going to say when the hip hop industry? including R&B, gets exposed for what it really is. What are they going to say then? What excuses are they going to make? It's a lot of people making excuses for Diddy. Oh, but he was important in hip-hop and all that kind of stuff. Right? If this was goes on in hip-hop, in the hip-hop music industry, then it needs to be done away with. Right? And when it happens, guys like Vlad will be obsolete because that's his bread and butter. Yeah, he talked, he interviews people with other things, but this was how he came up with through the hip hop industry. So he's going to do everything he can to protect it. And then we got all these black people trying to protect it. You know, black men, right? Because they want to hold on to their heroes. But when this is all done away with, then what they're going to say? That's all I want to know.